What's up radio <laughs> well, let's go into the issue of what is happening right here uh, in SA. But before we go there, yeah, mind you, let me just uh, read something from uh, statistics, actually, from the S from the South African Government News Agency. I think the website is sanews.gov.za. Yep. Yeah, it says here, gender-based violence on the rise. This was a report from, two, I mean, from 2018 in June 19. It says, femicide is on the rise in South Africa. With the statistics, South Africa reporting that the murder rate for women increased drastically by 117% between 2015 and 2016, 2017. The number of women who experienced sexual offenses also jumped from 31,665 in 2015, 2016 to 70,813 in 2016-2017, which is an increase of 53%. So these are drastic increases in less than 24 months. Stats SA's crime against women in South Africa reported. So yeah, that is it. Femicide. Mm. So it's not dropping, women. it's going up. Yep. And then, uh, and with what just happened right now or uh, on Sunday of the video of Mampenja, um, I know, uh, fighting with or oh, beating up uh, babes with doom, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it also gives you, uh, you know, it gives an alarm that if it happening, it's happening on people on the public eye like that. Mm, mm, Imagine mm. on people that they don't have the, the privilege of putting their stuff in the public eye. Yeah, imagine though, because we always thought that uh, women abuse, actually the women who get abused are those who are dependent on the male. Yeah, 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 yeah. we always thought that was those uneducated who are, I don't know, who are too dependent, who can't take care of themselves and so forth. So now when you see it happening in a woman like this who was at one point, I don't know, they, I mean, yeah, she was this, big, yeah, you know? she's a yeah. big, I mean, a big, at, the black the black, you see, yeah. I mean, look, look yeah. at his achievement. So now when something like this happens to someone like that, so, but high school right now, doing whatever, grade 10, who gets slapped by the boyfriend on the way home or whatever. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> I mean you, it, see, it, you see, brother, Eddie, that, that's the thing. Mm. Abuse, it, it doesn't categorize. Yeah. It doesn't say I'm poor, I'm rich, I'm a male, I'm a female. Mm -hmm. It does happen to anyone in all families. Mm -hmm. You know, so basically as much as you spoke about the statistics that mm -hmm. are reported, yes. but then bear in mind that there are those who are not reported. Yes. Both of sexual offenses mm -hmm. and uh, domestic violence whereby women were killed yeah. and were not reported. Mm. Or even when they were reported, there were not enough evidence to convict men. Mm, 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 so mm. those things are reality. Mm, 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 so mm, mm, mm. There is, that's, this means that there is something wrong with us men in SA, right? Um, we don't know where it comes from. Uh, I believe that it all starts somewhere. I mean, if you are growing up in an environment that is violent, an environment that is uh, perpetrating violence and so on, abuse and so on, you are likely to repeat that on another person. Mm. So, because I, I said it, I said it uh, earlier today, it's a thin line. It's either you out from the dark or you continue with the darkness. You stay in the dark. You stay in the yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah. And, and there are men like Mampincha out there, a lot of them, men that we also respect, that we don't know that they're doing that. Mm -hmm. No, men, and it's a problem that it's it, it it won't be solved by cases only. No, by locking up someone. <clears throat> no, nope. it's a problem that needs to be dealt with mentally. I, I think that people have frustrations, people have issues, just that they are not uh, self-aware of themselves. As I was making said as well. Yeah, self-awareness is mm -hmm. one of the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. You are not aware that. I'm, I'm troubled by a certain issue, a thing that happened when I was young or being in a situation like this as a kid, it can affect me to become the same person. And how do I deal with that? Because yes, uh, Mampincha has, has went to jail now, has paid the 2000 and is going back. They can, they can sit down, have family members and they discuss the issue and it's over. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't mean yeah. the problem is solved. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, no, it doesn't really. Yeah, it's it doesn't. Something. Uh -uh, mm. It doesn't. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't because he just paid the bail and then he's out of jail. Mm. But then the, the issues that he's trou is troubling his heart <laughs> is still there. Yeah. And then it <clears throat> might be that he, he is aware of his own issues that he's dealing with or he's not aware. But then clearly there are triggers in every one of us. Mm. There are things that 
push us to the limit whereby we don't understand at times because you know when there are things that happen in our lives nobody wants to deal with any kind of pain mm -hmm. to a certain limit so me i believe that south african men that are so opposed that they have even neglected or ignored to they take so bruised. the bruised yeah you know that the, the image is totally representing how bad how yeah. bad they are bruised yeah. mm -hmm. it's the state mm -hmm. of their agony mm -hmm. so i wish it's my heart's prayer that they can just take everything else away from themselves you know and start doing self introspective and ask themselves who they are what they want and be able to establish between their authority as men and power and knowing who they are and what they want in life. Mm. I think if we, our men can do that, our brothers, our husbands can you, do that, you, you know, we can be a better nation. You, you'll find uh, in other cases of abuse, you'll find that things, uh, the, 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 the incident is started when um, maybe a lady was supposed to be going somewhere and the guy's not there or somebody greeted the lady in front of the guy. Mm -hmm. I, or it, it all becomes an insecurity thing, you know. Uh, a guy becomes jealous who's that and what, and then, then they start yeah, fighting. Yeah, and so yeah. on. Or the girl sees this this relationship doesn't work, wants to walk away, and the guy decides to kill her or something. That's uh, you want to walk away from. Yeah, but then that's a thing, giving power to damaged people. Because I mean, I don't know. There's this thing that if you're in a relationship with a person, you sort of, if you're made, you want to have power over them or you feel like you've got authority. Obviously, this authority part which you would explain as a pastor, right? But then now, there's that thing, that feeling that you've got power over somebody or authority over somebody just because you're in a relationship with them, which is not the only problem, but just one of the problems for males, for South African males as well. But then now, when you are a damaged person having power over another person, I mean, it's definitely likely that you're also going to damage on the other person. You're going to bleed on them. You're broken. Yeah. Yes. So that is why I think what you were pointing to us, Maggie, when you were mentioning the fact that the, uh, South African men are damaged, uh, they've got issues, right? Yeah. Which actually goes back to the apartheid. Apartheid South Africa. The damaged fathers starting their own family households and all of that, mm -hmm. and now raising kids. Now, them becoming the damaged patriarchs Right, and we're hoping that the new patriarchs are not as damaged <laughs> as the old patriarchs. Because now, when you have a father, a leader of the household, who is damaged, who is insecure, who is filled with fear in the heart, I mean, mm -hmm. everything else collapses in the house because he wants to insert to, to I don't know to 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 make it felt that he is the leader, or he's the the, the 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 boss in the house. So if there's if there is a feeling that someone is not respecting him. Or someone is not um, holding him up there on a pedestal as he feels he needs to be held up.